RCID, is the immediate governing jurisdiction for the land of the Walt Disney World Resort. As of the late 1990s, it comprised an area of within the outer limits of Orange and Osceola counties in Florida. The resort includes the cities of Bay Lake and Lake Buena Vista, and unincorporated resort land. After the success of Disneyland in California, Walt Disney began planning a second park on the East Coast. Disney disliked the businesses that had sprung up around Disneyland, and therefore wanted control of a much larger area of land for the new project. He flew over the Orlando area site, as well as many other potential sites, in November 1963. Seeing the well-developed network of roads, including the planned Interstate 4 and Florida's Turnpike, with McCoy Air Force Base, later Orlando International Airport, to the east. Disney selected a centrally located site near Bay Lake. Disney used multiple shell companies to buy up land at very low prices from unknowing landowners in the area that would eventually become the district. These company names are listed on the upper story windows of what is now the Main Street USA section of Walt Disney World, including Compass East Corporation, Latin American Development and Management Corporation, I4 Corporation, named because of nearby I4, Tomahawk Properties, Inc., Reedy Creek Ranch, Inc., and Bay Lake Properties, Inc. On March 11, 1966, these landowners, all fully owned subsidiaries of what is now the Walt Disney Company, petitioned the Circuit Court of the Ninth Judicial Circuit, which served Orange County, Florida, for the creation of the Reedy Creek Drainage District under Chapter 298 of the Florida Statutes. After a period during which some minor landowners within the boundaries opted out, the drainage district was incorporated on May 13, 1966, as a public corporation. Among the powers of a drainage district were the power to condemn and acquire property outside its boundaries for the public use. It used this power at least once to obtain land for Canal C1, Bonnet Creek, through land that is now being developed as the Bonnet Creek Resort, a non-Disney resort. However, Walt Disney knew that his plans for the land would be easier to carry out with more independence. Among his ideas for his Florida project was his proposed Epcot, the experimental prototype community of tomorrow, which was to be a futuristic planned city, and which was also known as Progress City. He envisioned a real working city with both commercial and residential areas, but one that also continued to showcase and test new ideas and concepts for urban living. Therefore, the Disney Company petitioned the Florida State Legislature for the creation of the Reedy Creek Improvement District, which would have almost total autonomy within its borders. Residents of Orange and Osceola counties did not need to pay any taxes unless they were residents of the district. Services like land use regulation and planning, building codes, surface water control, drainage, waste treatment, utilities, roads, bridges, fire protection, emergency medical services, and environmental services were overseen by the district, and the only areas where the district had to submit to the county and state would be property taxes and elevator inspections. The planned Epcot City was also emphasized in this lobbying effort. On May 12, 1967, Governor Claude R. Kirk Jr. signed the following statutes to implement Disney's plans. According to a press conference held in Winter Park, Florida, on February 2, 1967, by Disney Vice President Don Tatum, the Improvement District and City Square A created to serve the needs of those residing there, and the company needed its own government to clarify the district's authority to provide services within the district's limits and because of the public nature of the planned development. The original city boundaries did not cover the whole Improvement District, they may have been intended as the areas where communities would be built for people to live. As a result of the resort's creation, the Disney-controlled town of Celebration, Florida, which had been built with many of Walt Disney's original ideas that had since evolved into a form of new urbanism, was de-annexed from Bay Lake in the district. This was done to keep its residents from having power over Disney be providing for separate administration of the areas. Celebration lies on unincorporated land within Osceola County, with a thin strip of still incorporated land separating it from the rest of the county. This strip of land contains canals and other land used by the district. The law creating the Improvement District was held by the Supreme Court of Florida not to violate any provision of the Constitution of Florida. As it, in part, declares that the district is exempt from all state land use regulation laws now or hereafter enacted, the Attorney General of Florida has issued an opinion stating that this includes state requirements for developments of regional impact. After Walt Disney died in 1966, 
the Disney Company board decided that it did not want to be in the business of running a city, and abandoned many of his ideas for Progress City. The planned residential areas were never built. Most notably, Richard Fogelsong argues in his book, Married to the Mouse, Walt Disney World and Orlando, that Disney has abused its powers by remaining in complete control of the district. In January 1990, Rasid was granted a $57 million allocation of tax-free state bonds over an agency with plans for a low-income housing development and all additional government applicants in a six-county region as state distributes the bond proceeds on a first-come order. Disney was criticized for the move with a Republican gubernatorial candidate filed a lawsuit to stop the Rasid from using the funds. Also, one legislator moved that would limit the Rasid ability to apply to the program and other talk about stripping Disney of the Rasid. Reedy Creek is a natural waterway whose flow, drainage, and destination have been altered over the years by human development. It begins west of the Bay Lake City limits and the Magic Kingdom, and then meanders south through Disney property, passing between Disney's Animal Kingdom and Blizzard Beach. It crosses Interstate 4 and exits Disney property west of Celebration and runs mostly through undeveloped territory east of Haines City. It empties into Lake Russell, and continues flowing southward into Cypress Lake which is connected to the Kissimmee chain of lakes. A five-member board of supervisors governs the district, elected by the landowners of the district. These members, senior employees of the Walt Disney Company, each own undeveloped lots of land within the district, the only land in the district not technically controlled by Disney or used for public road purposes. The only residents of the district, also Disney employees or their immediate family members, live in two small communities, one in each city. In the 2000 U.S. Census, Bay Lake had 23 residents, all in the community on the north shore of Bay Lake, and Lake Buena Vista had 16 residents, all in the community about a mile north of Disney Springs. These residents elect the officials of the cities, but since they don't actually own any land, they don't have any power in electing the District Board of Supervisors. The district headquarters are in a building in Lake Buena Vista, east of Disney Springs. The district runs the following services, primarily serving Disney. Disney provides transportation for guests and employees in the form of buses, ferries, and monorails, under the name Disney Transport. In addition, several links public bus routes enter the district, with half-hour service between the transportation and ticket center, and backstage areas at Magic Kingdom, and downtown Orlando and Kissimmee and once a day service to more points, intended mainly for cleaning staff. Half hourly service is provided, via links, to Orlando International Airport, MCO. The RSID has its fire department emergency services station in Bay Lake, it has a Lake Buena Vista address. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.